The symptoms of peripheral arterial disease can be multiple, and I'll go through each of them. A patient can be asymptomatic, and basically what that means is the patient has deposits on the inside of their arteries, which may in fact be narrowing their, the diameter of these arteries, but they feel no symptoms at all. The second possibility is a patient who experiences what is known as claudication. The definition of claudication is a patient who experiences calf pain and occasionally buttock pain after a prescribed period of walking. Typically the pain is described as cramping or burning and the patients, the patients describe an intensity of the pain such that they have to stop walking and rest, typically by sitting, again for a prescribed amount of time. When the pain subsides, they're able to continue walking again for the same distance as prior, only to have to stop again when the burning and cramping becomes too much. In more critical cases, patients can develop rest pain. And what this means is their degree of occlusive disease in their arteries is at such a point that when they're at rest, they experience pain in their feet. Classically, patients describe pain in their feet at night when they go to sleep. The final stage of peripheral arterial disease is one of non-healing wounds or ulcers. In some patients, they can develop spontaneous ulcers on their feet, and these won't heal because there isn't enough blood flow. And in other patients, they can have just minor trauma to their feet that will create a small abrasion in their skin that will develop to a large non-healing ulcer. Unfortunately, while the, um, while the blood supply is not good enough to heal the wound, it is certainly very, very fertile ground for bacteria uh, to, enter the, uh, to enter the fleshy parts of the foot, and this can become a limb-threatening situation.